Today I'm going to walk you through a quick study of why pharmacogenomics and genetics matter so much when prescribing medications, especially pain medications. In 2005, a newborn died from morphine poisoning due to his mother taking codeine with acetaminophen and that being passed through the breast milk. This is the pathway that shows how codeine is converted to morphine. You can see right there between codeine and morphine, the CYP2D6 enzyme is what's responsible for converting codeine to morphine, which is the active metabolite that gives pain relief. Based on one specific genetics, you may have different reactions to taking codeine because, for example, if you're a slow metabolizer or a poor metabolizer of CYP2D6, you would not get as much of that active metabolite of morphine Therefore, you wouldn't get much pain relief. However, this newborn's mother was an ultra-rapid metabolizer, which led to higher concentrations of morphine in her body and therefore being passed through the breast milk. Typically, if a mother takes codeine in a normal dose, the infant's level would be around 0 to 2.2 nanograms per milliliter. However, in autopsy reports, it was shown that this infant's level was 70 nanograms per milliliter, as you can tell, significantly higher than normal. This is just a quick timeline of how things went down. On day one, the mom started taking the medication for pain, 60 milligrams every 12 hours. On day two, the mother decreased to 30 milligrams every 12 hours. And then on day seven, the infant started showing signs of lethargy and difficulty nursing. Day 11, the baby was back to birth weight at the well check. And then day 12, baby started to have a gray appearance. On day 13, the baby was found unresponsive. So you can see this was not an instant thing and it did take a while to have this effect on the baby. However, had the mother had this pharmacogenomics test before any pain medication was prescribed, this could have been prevented.